but here's a great example, you know, of, of one of those entrepreneurial lessons. We started out and thought that it would be a lot of online work and maybe we'll go back to that. But what we found is people are really craving live experiences and connection. I am the daughter for those that know their 60s activist music. I'm the daughter of Noel Paul Stuckey of Peter, Paul and Mary. That's the role of a poet, of a musician, of a painter, of, a, of the arts. That is the role, is to give amplification to the, each person's heart and where they discover themselves suddenly in a community of like-minded people. About 10 years ago, he and I said, well, I said to him, you know, Dad, let's think about ways that we can use you as a model to other artists who want to give back through their music. And we didn't know what we meant by that. We really didn't. I mean, it wasn't like this big switch went off and I could tell you exactly just what I told you a minute ago about what we're going to do. So we started by just, it, it's really been field testing. I mean, we went out into the world and we said, all right, well, at least let's just see the music of change that's out there right now. Let's see the artists that are walking the talk and giving back through their music. We're kind of like a creative music catering company. We can pair an artist with your event. We can work with you to think about social media, to think about, um, you know, sort of pre-event and post-event, but it's not just about a benefit concert anymore. It's not just about like, oh yeah, just, okay, you've got a cancer cause. Okay, well, let's just get it. Not that that's not important, not that that's not unbelievably valuable to raise that kind of money, but we believe music can do more. And over time, you know, we learned a lot about what was out there and a lot about the motivation behind these artists. And so we would start getting questions like, oh, didn't that music die in the 60s? Or isn't it all folk? Or isn't it all protest music? And we're like, no, we could say emphatically, no. This music is being made in all kinds of genres, in all kinds of generational you know, configurations. Um, and, uh, and it's very, it's hopeful stuff. It's not all depressing. It's people really envisioning a new future for themselves through this craft of, of songwriting. But when you have a vision that you really believe needs to be sort of birthed and, and kind of out in the world, it's amazing the things you can do.